Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do some more on my Haswith and um, I've got some, I'm going to do the wax flowers. Now what I decided to do was crochet the little wax flowers. So I've got them done here but what I want to show you is um, how I've made them on a bit bigger string so what I used was my um some of the colors from my pearl threads aren't these gorgeous I got um I've got two here with uh you know more colors they're my oops they're my colors and I ended up getting these from AliExpress aren't they gorgeous so I've used sort of these colors um, to do the wax flowers and the center of the wax flowers I'll use these colors probably this or maybe that so that is a size 8 pearl thread all right so I'm just going to show you today how I made these flowers they are very very easy to do so um, you know get your crochet hook this is a size two and I used the size two on the eight um, pearl thread but I doubled it up okay so um, we're just going to get your slip knot on there and um, chain two okay and in the first chain I'm going to put nine single crochet and I'm uh, talking in US terms okay so one two I know I hold my thread funny um, oops three four five six seven eight and nine okay we've got nine single crochets there in the round okay that's the first round second round so only got two rounds we are going to do a double crochet we'll get those loops up just be careful of that first one because that loop always hides all right so we're going to do a double crochet come on one double crochet in the first stitch one triple crochet in the same and a double crochet in the same so each petal, petal has a double crochet a triple crochet and double crochet and then we go to the next stitch on our round and we do a slip stitch so that's the first petal okay and then we do that four more times so we go double crochet triple crochet and a double crochet all in the same stitch and then we slip stitch into the next now I'm a fairly tight crocheter so that's why my uh, stitches sort of bend over a little bit okay we've got two petals now we're going to go to the next stitch and do the same again a double crochet triple and a double and we slip stitch into the next stitch so we've got three petals okay we do a double in the next stitch triple and 
in a double and slip stitch into the next stitch one more petal do a double a triple and a double and we slip stitch it in and that is our flower let's pull that through and what I do is I go over to the back and just weave that that last stitch or that last end in so it all goes to the back because remember um, we're going to sew this on thread right so <clears throat> what I do is I cut the original thread and keep the working thread to sew on with and just puff it out and that's our little five petaled flower Okay, so that's done on a bit bigger thread than what I'm using down here. So that's how I did the flower, the open flower. The one with three petals is exactly the same, but I've just added three petals instead of five. And the bud here, I have, um, I've done the two start chains and I've just done one petal on the at back into the first um chain okay so that's what i've done with all the pieces all right now we'll have to um put them all together where we want to put them on our work um i'm going to use a big needle to sew these on and i've just left thread um, from where I worked it to put them on my work okay I'll just move these ones out of the way and start sewing them on now I'm going to um, try and sew down these petals because because I'm a tight crocheter they tended to curl so I might just pick up each of these petals so they come back out like they should.
All right, I've got my little wax flowers on the base of them. <clears throat> now, what I want to do is bring up another color and um, put another color inside of them. I think I like um, I like these too. They're just slightly different, but they're and I'm just going to do this double thickness too just so it just goes quicker for me but I'll <clears throat> I want to put see how there's uh, when you crochet there's a natural little ring around there well I want to put some color around that now I could have um, crocheted that first round in a different color and then um, then changed color I could have done that but it was so fine, the cotton, I thought it might be just easier to sew a, a colour on. So I'll sew a ring of colour around the centre of the flowers. we've got our color in the middle and <clears throat> how I want to finish that off is to put some sequins and beads in there might do that right might do that and we'll put a bugle bead on Put that colour on. One, two, three, four. So we'll put that colour on and we'll put um I'll put a little cream colour on top. Right, now we've got to put some stems on. Right, I want to have a stem down here. Want one down there. I just like the I like the chain stitch and then whipping it so I might just do something simple like that and then for the leaves we'll do a some lazy daisy leaves we'll just keep it really simple that's what um, I enjoy stitching it's just really simple stuff and it looks effective and it's you know there's nothing hard about it then anyone can have a go at it Thank you. 
All right, that's my wax flowers done. Oh, I'm really happy with them. I sort of, um, like the other ones, I sort of struggled to um, figure out how I was going to do these. <coughs> so I'll show you up close. It's got a little bit of dimension there with them. Some of them are little um insides are sticking out others are laying down depending on what way the flower is going put a little sequin in there and um yeah i'm really liking them wax flowers come in all sorts of colors um lots and lots of different colors so um that's my thought behind them i thought i would just um go the burgundy colors and put a nice mix um, of burgundies in there and um, yeah this outside thing is really bugging me this netting stuff I put on it's um getting every getting into everything all right okay so that's the border down there and if some of these don't go over the border when I do it, I'll just fix it up and put a couple of stitches in. That's not a biggie. All right, so when I come back, I would have put some Billy buttons in here. And um, and I'll put um, a link to the first Billy buttons that I did so that you can actually see how I did them. And then my last one will be this big, beautiful desert pea. So I'm really excited to get that going. It'll be a nice big red on the end. <coughs> All right, so I hope you've enjoyed watching that. Something different, another different flower again. Um, using my uh, little crochet flower that I showed you in the beginning. This was done on a bigger thread and um, so that you could see it and this was done on a number eight size pearl cotton but I had it doubled so yeah I like the um, burgundy color in that it just adds a little bit bit more pops of something different all right so if you're new here this is almost the finish of the outside of my needle roll australian wildflower themed needle roll looking really cool and um these spaces in here like i said i will add these all these little things in that i put around the rest of it so when i come back like i said i'll have the billy buttons in and i'll probably have some of these spacer flowers these pink and blue spacer flowers in here as well fill it up and and it will look pretty full until this last flower all right thanks for watching and i will see you soon for a new make remember to like share and subscribe i would love to have you here with me on my channel i do all sorts of craft and i love ob shopping and um using like nearly all this stuff on here is from the ob shop i know these colors here these were bought but they are they're sort of a specialty color i think and um yeah all right I'll see you soon for a new make. Take care and enjoy. Make sure you rug up. It was minus two here this morning and it was freezing. We had a frost. Pickle went out and tiptoed out onto the, the crackly grass and he shot back under the bed covers. <laughs> so yeah, keep warm, keep safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.